Hello, Roxana, how are you? Roxana, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, I excellent. can hear you. Excellent, Roxana. Perfect. How are you, Roxana? Um, I am uh, a little sick because I coughed the flu. Oh no. Yeah. Okay. Are you taking medicine? Uh, only uh, cetaminophen mm -hmm. and ibuprofen. Okay. Okay. But I I didn't go to the doctor. I consider it's not necessary, okay. but because I I had uh, I already had the two. Vaccine, vaccine? Vaccines? Vaccines, uh, yeah, vaccines. Ah, so it's not, it's not serious. It's only a flu or a cold. No. I think, but I'm not sure because oh, I, <laughs> I didn't go to the doctor. And I know, I don't know, but I feel a little, a bit better. Okay, okay, no problem. Okay, and you, Elizabeth, how are you? Fine, teacher. Um, good night. Um, I um a little tired, but fine. Okay. Yes, usually in this at this time is is a little tired for the day, right? Yeah the working, waking up early, at the activities, and then you are uh, almost ready, almost, almost time to go to sleep, right? Okay, good, okay. Well, Elizabeth and Roxanne, I don't know what happened to the other students, but we begin, we continue, because this is the idea, to use the time correctly. Yesterday, we, yesterday, we were looking at vocabulary. The vocabulary that we were looking at yesterday was for description. You remember? We were looking at how to describe people for different personalities. Let's practice the pronunciation to make sure that it's clear. Okay, let's take a look at the pronunciation. Okay, first Roxana and Elizabeth and Jacqueline. First listen, and then you are going to practice. Not, do not repeat, only listen. In this moment, only listen. Okay. Easy going, egotistical, inflexible, modest, sociable, stingy, supportive, temperamental, unreliable. Okay, Roxana, please read the nine vocabulary words. Okay, is it going? Uh, egoistical, inflexible, modest. Egotistical, egotistical. E egotistical. Mm -hmm. Egotistical, inflexible, modest, sociable, stingy, supportive. Temperamental, unreliable, unreliable. Un <laughs> it's difficult. Reliable, unreliable. Un unreliable. Mm -hmm. Good, Elizabeth. Okay, um, easy going, egotistical, inflexible, modest, sociable, stingy, supportive. Temperamental, unreliable. 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 Correct, very good. Jackie, it's your turn. Okay. 
you are on mute. <laughs> Sorry. No problem. Okay. Easy going, egotistical, inflexible. Egotistical. Egotistical. Mm -hmm. Egotistical, inflexible, modest, sociable, stingy, supportive, temperamental, and unreliable. Very good. All right. So these are some of the words that we learned yesterday, how to describe our friends. Remember, the idea was that here, that the knowledge check, we were able to describe according to what we understand about James, Andrea, and Mr. Johnson. Today, we're going to begin by going here and writing about our best friend. So first, we're going to do two things. One, we're going to make groups. We're going to tell our partner about our best friend. For example, my best friend is, and you describe your best friend. Then part two, you are going to write your answer in the platform. So it's two activities. One is speaking. I tell my partner, my best friend, describe them. Then the number two is I write my answers in the platform in 1.8. It's okay? Yes, it's okay. Okay. Now, you can use other words. If you have other vocabulary to describe your partner or your best friend, no problem. For example, my best friend is funny. Okay, you can describe using other vocabulary, right? It's not only the words that we learned today, but the idea is to practice. So let's make our groups. Speak and then write. Speak and write. Hello, Elena. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Elena. How it, are you? I'm fine, and you? Fine too, a little tired because us, it's a long day, but okay. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm going to send you to the room and your partners are going to tell you what to do. We are in 1.8 in the platform, 1.8. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Hello everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to express likes and dislikes. And you'll also learn how to express neutral things. So let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. So let's say, for example, you want to express things that you like. Um, I'm going to use an analogy of a birthday, right? So a uh, quick example. I like it when my friends give me gifts for my birthday. I don't like it when my friends forget about my birthday. There, I just express the likes and dislikes, and I also want to be neutral about certain things. So in order to do that, I'm going to use expressions such as, I don't mind it when my friends arrive late to a party. So let's do the following. First, 
the first thing that we should learn or that we should become familiar with is some uh, vocabulary, okay? Uh, and so let me do just that. Let me just present this quick vocabulary. If you notice, I've highlighted in yellow the positive. So for things that you like, you'll use expressions such as I like it, I love it. When you're neutral about something, you'll use expressions such as I don't mind it. And when you want to express things that you don't like, then in that case, you'll use expressions such as I don't like it, I can't stand it, I hate it. So let me just quickly present the structure and how to formulate this kind of complex sentences. So when we say clauses with it and then we say clauses with when, well, really what we're saying is that we want to express things that we like, that we don't like, or that we're neutral about at any given situation. So let me just present the structure here. What we want to do is we want to use clauses with it and then adverbial clauses with when. Uh, and we do this in order to express the things that we like, the things that we don't like, or the things that we might be neutral about. So as I mentioned at the beginning, we ha I had a, a couple of examples for you. I'll just continue on with making more examples. So, so what kind of things do you like? Well, um, in order to formulate this sentence to express that idea, we're going to have a subject. In this case, I'm just going to say I. The subject could be any other subject, by the way. Um, I use a verb such as like. So I say I like it, and that's my clause with it. And then the next part, it continues with when. This is the situation. Um, when. All right, so let me just make that quick sentence there. So I like it when someone gives me a compliment. This is something that I like. As you can see, we have the first part of the sentence is Okay, we are back. All right. Roxana, who were your partners? Wait for a minute. <laughs> uh, Jacqueline and Elizabeth. Okay, tell me about Jacqueline's best friend. Jacqueline's best friend, um, uh, I don't remember the name. It's difficult for me to remember the name, but, but she said she said the name. Uh, and she said uh, her her friend is um, is um, smart and she they rise together and they live in front uh, they their houses the 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 her friend's house is in front of her of her house and what else um, and uh, his she her friends has a uh, a lot of turtle ten I remember ten ten turtle <laughs> okay yeah. that not normal yeah. what is not normal but oh okay yeah. <laughs> It's not okay. normal for me, no. Mm -hmm. I don't have any pets. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. And Elizabeth. Uh... No, 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 no. No, only, only one. Only okay. Yes. Jackie, <laughs> tell me about Elizabeth. Okay, his best friend was a, a friendly person, and also she said that. And I, I, I didn't remember the name of of, of her best friend. But I remember she says she's uh, friendly, and that uh, he was, she was always with her. She was like a partner. So I remember she said something like that, and uh, uh, he always support her, and that's all I remember about the interpret. Okay. All right. Good. Elizabeth, tell me about Roxana. Um, I, I little, I little remember, but, um, Roxanne says, um, uh, about his best friend, it's uh, more, friend? 
her best friend uh, it's uh, uh, is is more technological and uh, she uh, she gives uh, uh, to her support uh, technologic and um, it's very friendly and is is easy going um, because uh, he, 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 you know, she she has a lot of uh, friends and um, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good job, good job. Elena, who was your partner? Or who were your partners? My partner was uh, Jose and Delmi, but when I, uh, in the break rooms, <laughs> I only, me speak. <laughs> Elena. <laughs> Please oh. don't ask me about <laughs> the best friend for date. Please, because I I talk about my best friend to Jose and tell me <laughs> because they are shared before I get in. <laughs> Sorry, oh. teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Jose, tell me about Elena. Hey teacher, uh, the happening is that today is our first class, <laughs> so we're trying to understand about, about this. And I can tell you something about her best friend. As I remember, she said that has two uh, best friends and one of the, I think the book, are uh, teachers and one was for informatic, computer science, something like that. And the normal is for social teacher and they speak um, for different things. Okay, all right. Tell me anything else about Elena's friends? Okay, uh, the name of her best friend, friend is uh, Elizabeth. And she said that she is very funny and she really enjoyed the time with uh, her best friend. Okay, okay, good. Very good guys, I'm glad. I'm glad we have it, okay, perfect. Well, that is the idea for describing our friends and talking about them, right? So we have several different things that we're looking at it. Now we're gonna continue with the rest or the next part of the unit, okay? Here in the next part of the unit, we are now going to 1.10. What are we going to do, okay? We are going to look at how to use the clauses with it and when. It's a bit, a little bit technical, the explanation, but the reality is that it's pretty easy to use. You only give your opinion and then you give the compliment. For example, I like it, I love it, I enjoy it. All of these things are what we use, right? So positive forms to use it, we use I like it or I love it. It's neutral, it's not, it's not good, it's not bad, I don't mind it. Something that is negative, I don't like it, I can't stand it, or I hate it, okay? So, as an example, tell me, tell me something that you like. Uh, I like to go out with my, uh, my friends. Okay, good. So here is when we use it. I like it when I go out with my friends. That is the idea of the structure. I love it when my friends give me or invite me to dinner, for example. Okay. Is that okay, guys? Yes. Yes, teacher. I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, is the, it's fine. So I can, I can say, or 
for uh, the ice cream, for example, sorry, ice cream, the, my, my, my ice cream, my favorite ice cream is vanilla, vanilla. I like it. Mm -hmm. Vanilla. I like it. For example, is the correct? No, it is not correct, Monica. The correct form would be like this. I like it when I eat vanilla ice cream. I like it when my mom buys vanilla ice cream. I like it when, and then you have to put the situation or the ideas. That would be, oh, the, okay. that would be the correct way. So for example, I like it when someone gives me vanilla ice cream would be the correct way. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Or in the same case, maybe for another person is negative. Then is I don't like it. I don't like it when, uh, and then you put when people eat ice cream or whatever situation you want. Okay, yes, okay. thank you. You're welcome. So what is the idea of these clauses? The idea of these clauses is to help us understand how to express ourselves, to give details about something that we feel, we like, we love, we don't like, we enjoy. And it's usually used for describing situations or things, okay? So let's try together to see if we have the idea clearly, okay? So what, think about something that you like or love. Let's go with the positive, okay? What is something that you like or that you love? You think about the action. You like doing, you love doing, whatever, what activity or food or anything that you enjoy? Thanks. Say one more time. Um, I like it dance or to dance. Okay, now we need to put the situation, not the action, the situation. Okay. I like it. I like, I like it when uh, my husband go out uh, to dance. With me? With me. I imagine, yeah, with you, not with the other woman, right? With you, with you, exactly. <laughs> with me. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> There, exactly, that is the idea. I like it when, and then you give the situation, okay? So for example, for me, I love it when I have a, a time with my family. I love it when my mom, cook, when my mom cooks tacos, to be another one. Exactly. I love it when my mom cooks tacos. Oh, in my case, teacher, mm -hmm. I love it when I eat uh, chocolate cake. <laughs> exactly. exactly. But I I don't like I don't like it when when I discuss with my mom. Ah, very good. Remember, the word is better argue when i argue with my mom i argue okay mm -hmm. discuss is a conversation um, um think what is your opinion but argue is when you do not agree with the situation okay mm -hmm. and this is the idea of this lesson that we are going to do how to use it for example me i like it when my friends give me gifts for my birthday. Or maybe for Roxana. Maybe Roxana doesn't like it when someone gives her a compliment. When someone says, Roxana, you are beautiful today. You look nice today. Roxana, ay, callate, mayunco. And then, ay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like it. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. It's okay, the topic? Yes. Yes. I understand. Teacher. Yes. Yes. Okay. Here we have many situations. We have, I love it. This is 
1.11. Let me take a picture and put into the WhatsApp group in case someone has difficulty accessing the platform. One moment. Let me put into the platform, into the group. Okay. What are we going to do with our partner? We're going to do two things. Part one, speaking. Part one, speaking. We have to make sentences with this. We have to complete with the compliment. I love it. I can't stand it. It makes me happy. Here, these are two different situations. Here, it bothers me is one sentence. I don't like it is another sentence. I explain because the sentences are very close, but they are two, they are different, okay? The same here. It embarrasses me. It doesn't bother me. It really upsets me. And then I don't mind. These are different. In total, with your partner, you are going to speak nine sentences. How many sentences are you going to speak? Nine. 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 nine, exactly, is nine. Not three, not four, no, Elena, one, I want, no. Elena, nine sentences, and I, nine sentences, all right? It's not, ah, Elena, vos hace uno, yo otro. No, 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 no. Elena, nine, I, nine. And then when we finish, this is part one. When we finish, then it's necessary to write our answers and write down the correct compliment. How do you feel? Ah, what are we going to use? We are going to use these to complete this. How do you feel? How do you feel when someone gives me a compliment on my clothes? Look with your partner, you read and you select which answer is correct. It bothers me, it embarrasses me, I love it, okay? It makes me happy. Ah, that's what you have to put with your partner, okay? Okay. So we have a lot of work, a lot of work. Two things, nine sentences speaking and then writing. Helio, any questions? Uh, Helio, but... you are in mute. Elio, you are in mute. In, estás en silencio. We can tu... hear you. Silencio. Mm. Maybe, teacher, in the participants, you can activate the microphone of Elio. No, I can't. I can only put mute. Only Elio can put uh, on mute. Okay. Teacher, one question. Yes, the... can you hear me? Hey, hey, yes. hey, hey, Elio, yes, we can hear you. We can, uh, can you hear me? All right, all right, okay. Yeah, I'm with you now. This is my first time on you know, the video conference. No problem. It's okay. We help each other. It's, All right. Okay. We learn together. This this is the idea. We help each other and we learn together. No problem. Uh, all right. Helio, do you have any questions before we begin? Well, well uh, my my uh, my main question would be, I I I was out yesterday. How mm -hmm. can I get how how can I get the the video? So I can I can watch the the what was this uh, what was starting yesterday. Ah, the video you have the link in the email. In the email it says, for example, the YouTube uh, link, or it says the YouTube channel. Only you click and you have the link, and you have the video from yesterday. Uh, all, right, all right. So, mm -hmm. but I I uh, would I get the credit for yesterday? Yes, Helio. If you do the oh. If you complete the activities, let me show, let me demonstrate in here one moment. Okay. Helio, is, you need to do is, this part, these, the 1.4 and uh -huh. the 1.7, the ones that have this picture. Do you see this picture? 
The one with yes, I do. Okay. If you do the one with the book and the pencil, you receive credit even if you don't come to class. Okay, but uh, but I I have no I have no books. No, no, no. I haven't given. No, it's uh, no book. It's in the platform. It's in the platform. In the platform. Okay. Yes. All right. So in this moment, we are going to do this one, this symbol, 1.11. If you do this, oh. if you do this in the class right now, you receive credit. And then oh, okay. it's not All a right. problem. So but I do, do I have time to, to write it down what, what I read it? Uh, yes, don't worry. We're going to have time because we are going to speak and then we're going to write. Oh, all right, all right. I understand okay. so. Good, good. Okay. I believe Elena had a question also, right, Elena? Yes, teacher, I have a question. Um, in the first part, um, with uh, speaking, um, we create a nice sentence. Um, mm -hmm. That nice sentence is need to write no. or only a speak? Only to speak, only to get the idea how to make the sentences. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Any other questions? No, uh, no teacher. I don't time. Well, sorry. No, don't worry. Go ahead. Oh. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Uh, we are going to use e e each. Uh, for example, I love it, I like, I spend that, one of, of this uh, uh, statement. You're going to use each statement. Each statement, okay. Each statement, yes. Okay, let's okay. work. We have a lot of activities to do with our partner and 10 minutes to complete, 10 minutes to complete. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll improve your reading skills by developing skills and identifying main ideas and understanding meaning from context. In this class, we'll read an article about the amazing world of apps, short for applications. You'll take notes of new words and pronunciation of difficult words. I'll read the article for you, but the goal is that you'll also read it making sure you're pronouncing the words correctly. After reading the article, your task is to complete the short quiz related to the article. So let's get started. I'll start by reading the article. In 2010, the American Dialect Society chose app as the word of the year. App is short for application. It's a program for an electronic device like a smartphone or a tablet computer. There are more than 425,000 apps that can be downloaded for entertainment, shopping, sports, scores, and anything else you might be interested in. Apps are so popular because they can be used almost anywhere, communicating on a bus, waiting in a doctor's office, or hanging out at the mall. And all you need is your smartphone. You don't need to log into your computer or into a website. You don't have to set up your video game console, 
you don't even need a Wi-Fi connection. Most smartphones can hold hundreds of apps, and you can use more than one app at a time. For instance, you can use a navigation app to find a new restaurant, a dining app to look at the restaurant's menu, and a weather forecast app to decide what to wear to the restaurant, all at the same time. One of the most popular apps, Angry Birds, has been downloaded by more than 50 million people. In 2010, this app was played 200 million minutes daily by app users, or 1.2 billion hours a year. The Apple Store began selling apps in 2008 with nearly 1 billion sold. In 2010, nearly 3 billion apps were sold at an average price of $2.13. Not only are apps popular, they're also profitable. If you are watching this video at home, Hi, everyone. It is important that after you listen, you practice the pronunciation yourself. What are the different techniques that you can do? Well, one of the techniques related to the article are this. So let's get started. One of the techniques is First you listen, and then you pause. For example, you listen to this paragraph, you pause, then you practice saying it. Then you listen to the next paragraph, you pause and you practice saying it again. If you have the opportunity, I recommend that you record yourself, that you use your cell phone and record and listen to yourself after and compare. Are you similar in pronunciation? Or do you have mistakes? And this can help you improve more and faster. Remember, if you have any questions, feel free to write comments in the comment section or in the platform that we have. I hope these tips help you to improve yourself and practice your English. Let's listen one more time. Started. I'll start by reading the article. In 2010, the American Dialect Society chose app as the word of the year. App is short for application. It's a program for an electronic device like a smartphone or a tablet computer. There are more than 425,000 apps that can be downloaded for entertainment, shopping, sports, scores, and anything else you might be interested in. Apps are so popular because they can be used almost anywhere communicating on a bus, waiting in a doctor's office, or hanging out at the mall. And all you need is your smartphone. You don't need to log into your computer or into a website. You don't have to set up your video game console. You don't even need a Wi-Fi connection. Most smartphones can hold hundreds of apps, and you can use more than one app at a time. For instance, you can use a navigation app to find a new restaurant a dining app to look at the restaurant's menu, and a weather forecast app to decide what to wear to the restaurant, all at the same time. One of the most popular apps, Angry Birds, has been downloaded by more than 50 million people. In 2010, this app was played 200 million minutes daily by app users, or 1.2 billion hours a year. The Apple Store began selling apps in 2008 with nearly 1 billion sold. In 2010, nearly 3 billion apps were sold at an average price of $2.13. Not only are apps popular, they're also profitable. Okay, I hope those tips helped you and I hope that the words that you found and that you learned in the reading, you look up. Sorry about that, guys. I like it when friends give me gifts for my birthday. I formulate this kind of complex sentences. So when we say clauses with it, and then we say clauses with when, 
Well, really what we're saying is that we want to express things that we like, that we don't like, or that we're neutral about at any given situation. So let me just present the structure here. What we want to do is we want to use clauses with it and then adverbial clauses with when. Uh, and we do this in order to express the things that we like, the things that we don't like, or the things that we might be neutral about. So as I mentioned at the beginning, we ha I had a, a couple of examples for you. I'll just continue on with making more examples. So, so what kind of things do you like? Well. Um, in order to formulate this sentence, to express that idea, we're going to have a subject. In this case, I'm just going to say I. The subject could be any other subject, by the way. Um, I use a verb such as like. So I say I like it, and that's my clause with it. And then uh, the next part, it continues with when. This is the situation. Um, when. All right, so let me just make that quick sentence there. So I like it when someone gives me a compliment. This is something that I like. As you can see, we have the first part of the sentence is the subject plus the verb and it. I like it. And then the second part of that sentence is when someone gives me a compliment. If we quickly look at our vocabulary here, I could say this could be now the, the idea about this is that this could be something that is true for you. This could be something that is not true for you. So we want to express the things that you like, things that you don't like, things that you might be neutral about. So I could use this vocabulary here. So I could easily say, I like it, such as the example here. I like it when someone gives me a compliment. Um, or I could say, I love it. So I'll, I could change the verb. I could change something else there. I could say, I love it when someone gives me a compliment. Okay. Let's take a look. How did we do? Ten minutes, but we have to do fast, right? To do all of the speaking and the activities. Yes, it's a really hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really hard. It's okay. That's I think why. it's a, a short time, 10 minutes. <laughs> you need more time. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are going to try together to make sure that it's clear because the important is not advance, but the important is to advance correctly. This is the important. Okay. So each person is going to have one and we're going to try. Elena, I love it. Uh, Monica, I can't stand it. Okay. Then we have, let me see who else after Monica. Well, let's begin with that. Elena, do you begin the sentence with, I love it? I love it. I spend time with my family Sunday. So, so I love it when I spend time with my family. Okay, sorry. Uh, I love it when I spend time with my family Sunday. Okay, good. Monica. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can stand it when my boss yelling me. <laughs> good, when my boss yells, yells at me. Uh, yells, 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 sorry. Correct, yells. Yells. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can stand it when my, bo when my boss yells me. At me. Mm-hmm. Yells, what, what is the meaning of gels? Gels. Wow, ah, Roxana, I told you to go to the. Mm, this is yells. Uh, okay. okay. Before the scream. <laughs> yes, excellent, Elena. Good synonym. Good synonym for screaming. Exactly. Okay. Roxana, it makes me happy. It makes me happy when. When go out with my friends. When I go out with my friends. When I go out with my friends. Good. Jose, it bothers me. Oh. 
Jose, you are on mute. Okay, maybe. Uh, mm -hmm. It bothers me. What is the mm -hmm. meaning? Ah, uh, it bothers me is I don't like. It's like I don't like, but it is disturbs me. It bothers me. It disturbs me. Uh, it bothers me when I have to do the same thing twice. Excellent. Very good sentence. Good. Reynel, uh, it embarrasses me. It embarrasses me when um, I don't give um, the results in my job. Ah, good, good example. Okay, um, let's see who's name. Helio, it really upsets me. You are in mute, Helio, you are in mute. You need to activate the microphone. No, no, the microphone. It's okay, Helio, don't worry, don't worry. We try together. Don't worry, Helio. You try and we continue. And when you have, then you practice. Jacqueline, I don't like it. I don't like it when I don't have enough time to do my chores at home. Nice, very good. It, tell me, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me when people ask me for help. Okay, good. And I think... I think that, oh, no, no, maybe Jose, right? Jose, I don't mind it. Okay, Elizabeth, did you do one? I don't remember you doing one, Elizabeth. No, I don't. Elizabeth, I don't mind it. Um, uh, teacher, uh, what is the meaning? I don't mind it. It means for me, it's not important. For me, it's not, it's not good, it's not bad, it's neutral. Irrelevant. Yes, similar to irrelevant. Okay. Um, I don't mind it. Uh, when I don't mind, I don't mind it when the people talk about uh, politics. Okay, good politics. Politics. Okay. Good. Okay. Very nice. Let me see. Okay. That's right. Good, Elena. Those are the meanings. Okay. I see that she put in the chat. Now let's try and make sure that everybody did it correctly. When someone gives me a compliment on the clothes, what can we use? What, which of these can we use? I love it. The first okay. one, I love it. I love it, okay. I love it when someone gives me a compliment on my clothes. What about number two? When people are direct and say what's on their mind. I wrote, it doesn't bother me. Uh, okay. Let me see. It doesn't bother me. Okay. It doesn't bother me. Remember, we're going to write the same thing that we have here. One. And then for me, I always think this way is easier because you don't have mistakes when you write. 
What about number three? When people call me late at night. Really upsets me. Ah, okay. It really upsets me. I write. I wrote. I don't like it. Ah, okay. Maybe also it's possible. I don't like it. Okay. We're going to see that in a moment. And for the next one, when a friend treats me to dinner. Made me happy. Oh, okay. Makes me happy. Okay. It makes me happy. This one, here we go. Can you hear me now, teacher? Sorry. Hey, yes, Elio, we can hear you. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay, I, I, I have a lot of I could catch you. Don't worry, Helio. Like I said, it's okay. You All right. It, and we give you no problem, Helio. All right. Thank you. Of course. We work together. Okay. <laughs> okay. Huh. I think maybe in here I have a problem. When a friend treats, it makes me happy. I think I have it correct, but I don't know why. Oh, I think I have it's a mis uh, Yeah. Two spaces. There's it's in a space. That's it. So you see, now, can we have other answers? Yes, of course. It's not only these answers. It's different answers, but it's necessary to make sure you write the answers correctly. This is why I recommend your answers, you copy and then you paste, because that way you don't have any mistakes when you write. Okay? Okay. Okay. All right. Helio, can you please use it really upsets me? No, oh, okay. I can really, uh, uh, whether it upsets me when people are uh, in bad habits. Okay. Almost very good, Helio, but it's, it really upsets me when people have bad habits. Yeah. Have. Bad habit, all right? Yes, okay. good. Always we need the verb. Very good. Okay. Good, excellent, guys. Now we're going to do a little bit of reading. For this one, we're going to listen and read this conversation, this article together. So in this moment, only listen and read, and then we will discuss the meaning. Listen, okay. to, how, listen to how we pronounce the numbers and the words. Listen to okay. pronounce the numbers and the words. Hi, everyone. May I start? Class, you'll improve no, your no, only listen, Helio. By developing skills all right, all right, all right. And find main ideas and understanding meaning from context. In this class, we'll read an article about the amazing world of apps, short for applications. You'll take notes of new words and pronunciation of difficult words. I'll read the article for you, but the goal is that you'll also read it, making sure you're pronouncing the words correctly. After reading the article, your task is to complete the short quiz related to the article. So let's get started. I'll start by reading the article. In 2010, the American Dialect Society chose app as the word of the year. App is short for application. It's a program for an electronic device like a smartphone or a tablet computer. There are more than 425,000 apps that can be downloaded for entertainment, shopping, sports, scores, and anything else you might be interested in. Apps are so popular because they can be used almost anywhere, communicating on a bus, waiting in a doctor's office, or hanging out at the mall. And all you need is your smartphone. You don't need to log into your computer or into a website. You don't have to set up your video game console. You don't even need a Wi-Fi connection. Most smartphones can hold hundreds of apps, and you can use more than one app at a time. For instance, you can use a navigation app to find a new restaurant, a dining app to look at the restaurant's menu, and a weather forecast app to decide what to wear to the restaurant, all at the same time. One of the most popular apps, Angry Birds, 
has been downloaded by more than 50 million people. In 2010, this app was played 200 million minutes daily by app users, or 1.2 billion hours a year. The Apple Store began selling apps in 2008 with nearly 1 billion sold. In 2010, nearly 3 billion apps were sold at an average price of $2.13. Not only are apps popular, they're also profitable. Hi, everyone. Okay, very good. Let's take a look at that. Okay. First, are there any words that you didn't understand? In my case, the last one, profitable. 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 Yes. yes, what does that mean in profitable? profitable. It means yes, that sir. it makes money. That means that when you make money in the business, this is profitable. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. I as I associate the 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 word with the not profit. Ah. <laughs> it's, this, it's the different meaning. It's the opposite. So yes, the it's the opposite. Yes, exactly. yes. It's the opposite. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. What is the meaning of average? Average is the normal. So the average price is the normal price. Oh, okay. Hmm? Any other words? No. Okay. Hey, I like you guys. Everybody is very clear. Now, excellent. So we have a lot of different things that are in the reading. Now, I, I want you to tell me if there are any words or numbers that mm, you think, no, I have difficulty with. All right. It's okay if you have problems with pronunciation or the word or the number, it's okay. Is okay for the listening or no? It's okay for me. Yes. Two, 2000, 2010. Okay. Is it correct? This is correct. Remember, for the years or for the dates, we have two forms, 2010 or 2010. Always we have two forms, okay? Now, what do we have? For homework, today we have one homework. And this is the 1.13. The reading was 1.12. If you need to listen and read again, it's okay. It's no problem. But the homework is 1.13. You need to read and answer the three question with information from here. So, the answers are here in the reading. You need to make sure it's clear and then only go 1.13, read and choose the correct answer for the three questions. It's a small homework, but it's important that we do. Okay? Yes, teacher. All right. Yeah. Great teacher. Before, okay. are, there any, are there any questions? Anything that you didn't understand from today's class? No, teacher. So far no okay. everything is okay. <laughs> I love it. And then in the exam, hey, teacher, no matter. <laughs> I like it, but I like it. <laughs> we are going to, to do the exam at the end of the module, no, or yes? <laughs> you, have, you have two exams. Yes, you have one exam. Two? Yes, two exams. Oh, but in the platform. In the platform, yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh <-huh. laughs> I think with uh, I think with you. No, 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 no. No. I, no, this is only in the platform. Okay. <laughs> no problem. Good. Well, thank you so much for coming. I know it's difficult sometimes, so thank you very much for making the effort, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Remember the homework. 
Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Good, night. Good, night. Good, night. Good, night. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Good night. Bye bye. Good night, teacher. Good bye night, Elio. Good night, guys. Okay, tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow will be. Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you Excellent. for your patience. Thank you. Of course, Elio. Yeah. No problem. All right. Bye bye. Thank you. You are. God bless you. You too.